to the extra medium show. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. We're back again. I'm Corey. That's Alex across the room. Big shame. <laughs> Big shame. Shame, shame on you. All right. What the fuck are we talking about today? We're talking about robots. Robots. Um, and honestly, um, what inspired me to do this is probably one of the most obscure mo- movie robots that you that's not on anybody's list. Okay. But couple weeks ago my movie my what did you watch was rocky four okay and the beginning of rocky four there's that weird ass robot that like they invented just for the movie right because like it's not they're not yeah. even in the future like, yeah no it was i don't even know how they fit it in the movie Polly's robot yeah. yeah and it like washes his car and like goes in, and they, they act like it's completely normal and like but anyway, I was like, watch that, and I'm like, you know, we should talk. What are the best movie robots? I like how broad it is, because I got a couple crazy ones for you. Well, that's what I was going to discuss, too. Like now, l- l- let me clarify. Are we just talking about non sentinel robots, or, <laughs> like, like <laughs> thinking robots? Yeah, like, bro. Okay. Some good movies happen after robots start thinking. True. Sure. That's usually what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like uh, what, two thousand one? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Hal. Hal. Yeah. yeah. Starts thinking for himself. But that's a computer. That's true. Is that a robot? <laughs> I don't know. You See, know, we're getting into this already. I <laughs> like I think of robots, Pacific Rim. The yeah, big those fighting giant, robots. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That, Transformers. I was just about to say Transformers is. Like the epi- that's a robot, what you think right? of as Transformers. If you that think like robot I mean the t- movie, go. are they aliens or are they robots? I think Transformers are aliens, but they're alien robots. Yeah, alien robots. I'll accept. A lot of movies they come from outer space. Now, who, who from just the movies, the recent movies, Transformers wise? I don't expect you to know the names of them, but do you have a favorite Transformer? Mm, no. No, I, I, what was I he, uh, What did he turn into? That uh, big Hummer. Okay. The black one. Is that the uh, Iron Ironside or something like that? Maybe. Maybe. I legit don't have a favorite uh, Transformers. I just, do you like, like those movies? Dude was no, bad. No, was no, badass. Can. I love those Transformers movies. The Transformer ride at Universal was cool. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I never really got into them. I I like. Uh, I like the cartoon. Yeah, it was Ironside. Yeah. Yeah, that was his name. So, personally for me, coolest movie robot, right, is the Terminator. Which one? The original? Terminator 2. Well, okay, that's different. He's the good guy, and he comes back, and he has more language. Yeah. Yeah. But but the one from Terminator 3 is hot. I I don't need hotness in my robots. (laughs) I think that's a contributing factor. Alex, give it all up. Just like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you like, can kill me. So, <laughs> like Fembots from uh, um, Austin Power. Austin Power. Yeah. I knew you were going to yeah. bring that up. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It adds a little pizzazz. Those are just straight up robots, too. They're, those aren't even like free thinking yeah. robots. They're just programmed robots. Yeah, they're, they're told to do it and yeah. kill them. Here's, here's one that's a little askew The Tin Man. From no, Wizard of Oz. He's not a robot. What is he? He's a. What is he? He's a. Uh, Man fucking, made of tin. Yeah. What's on the inside? Nothing. It's hollow, bro. He pounds he on his hollow. chest. But how does it? I mean, magic. It does, no. I, 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 I can see what we're splitting hairs right here. Like, I'll die on this. I'll, what, I will what die on this. What side are you hook. leaning towards? He's a robot. I would say. Get the you. fuck Thank out you. of here. Thank you. A man he's of metal. class over there. He's, he's metal. That, that's not the qualification he, he, for being a robot. Move? Like, in theory, they would he's, probably he's use, not, be using gears. He's not a human. That he's made that. of tin. What's the lion? A lion. What's okay. the scarecrow? A scarecrow. Why? Why is the scarecrow not a robot? Because he's a scarecrow. <laughs> Like that's that's just well, what's the tin man? A robot. No, a man not. made of tin. A man made Ab- of metal. Absolutely. The a same robot. thing that makes the scarecrow be alive is what makes. Thank you, Brooklyn. Is what makes uh. 
What, magic? Yeah. Mm. The same thing that makes the Scarecrow be alive is the same thing that makes the Tin Man be alive. So if the Tin Man's a robot, then the Scarecrow's a robot. Mm. I disagree. And I think you're wrong. All right. Passionate debate. <laughs> that was a passionate debate about Scarecrow and Tin Man. But I, let us know what you guys think. I mean, let them know that I'm right, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So uh, Now, th- this is going to be opening up a whole different, you know, side of robots. Um, the Iron Giant. Yes. That's, yeah, that's a robot. Yeah. But he's animated. And um, yeah, we were I, unsure if we were doing animation or not. I'm just saying, if but we go like, into animated robots, the list will, will yeah. be here for years. Yeah. Like, we're not even going to get to all of the non-robot robots. Right. When I non-animated think robots. Robot movies, that's one of the first ones I think that, of. That is... Mm-hmm. That, that, like, yeah. I've watched that still to this day. Like, It's an emotional movie. Yeah. Teaches you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, about, about life or about I'd be yourself? remiss if I didn't mention two heavy hitters C-3PO and yeah, R2-D2 uh, yeah. have to I mean I, I was afraid I was going to forget how we always forget shit especially yeah. the big you can't, ones you're not going to forget that um, Johnny Five short circuit yeah which which robot would you rather have C-3PO or R2 going back to that R2 would you yeah hands down why because he's badass. Yeah, but like, in, if you had them right now in today's world, what benefit would R two have? He could do anything. Like all, all uh, uh, C three PO does is translate. He's kind of condescending. He's like a butler. He'll get you shit and stuff. So can R two D two. R two D two kind of has low attitude too. Though. Yeah. But he fixes <laughs> shit. He can hack shit. What are I, you? What are you hacking right now? Is what I'm saying. What do you need? Fucking. Bro, if I had R two D two, I'd be hacking everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. I, I take. Um, I go the opposite. I went the more human, like. Ah, oh, fuck him. Because then you could like dress him up and take him out with you and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can do R two D two. The darkness of the night. R two D two kind of looks like a recycling bin. R two D two can fly. That's true. That is true. That's a, that's, a point. that's a valid point. I'll let I'll let that go. All right. Um, what about uh, RoboCop? I mean, Terminator's cooler than RoboCop. Is he? Yeah. But RoboCop's cool, but but is he a ro- like robot? He's more human than robot, yeah. but his, his yeah. robot features definitely are. Important. He's like cyborg. Yeah, is a cyborg a robot? Are you a cyborg if you have a pacemaker? That's a good point. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I ain't never thought of that. <laughs> I ain't. Oh. <laughs> no. I think if you're operating with a human brain, you are a that's, human. That's the point of a cyborg. A cyborg is a human brain with a robotic body, at the very least, in my opinion. That's scary. Yeah. I think I think science is close to that. Oh, yeah. I agree to that. Would you be cryogenically frozen if you could to be brought back at a later date? Mm. If I die, proven safe. (laughs) Let me ask you this, okay? Because you don't know when you're gonna die. Right, that's the point. Let's say you have to freeze yourself ten years before your death for the chance to come back at a later date. That's the caveat. So I would only have ten more years years off of your life. Now it depends, though. It depends, like. That could be then if I'm gonna die in ten years, I'm gone now. So that's right. a little different. What do you mean? Like if I'm gonna die when I'm eighty, yeah, then I still got some time. No, ten years from let's say you find all right, just whenever, yeah. I guess whenever you find out when you're somehow there's science to tell you when you're gonna die, and they say you can live out these ten years, or you can freeze yourself and come back. Would I have t- only ten years after I come back, or I'd would like they have healed me? I think there's um, advances to live a little longer, make it maybe maybe it maybe forty years, like half your life. I'd probably just live it out. Yeah. Yeah, because most there's no guarantee anyway. Like, wh- when are you yeah. coming back? Uh, I don't know. You're 50 not gonna years? know anybody. That's what I'm saying. All your exactly. favorite TV shows are gonna be gone. Yeah. yeah. You're like, not gonna know any of the channels. But the future could be cool. 
Yeah, but you're gonna be so far out of the loop. Yeah, like, you won't you're know how to flow. use anything. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna be perceived as an idiot. Yeah. Like, I mean, half the time, I, like, these kids nowadays are smart as shit. And bro, like, I can barely send an email. <laughs> okay. I couldn't even send a letter, bro. So. <laughs> well, that's an outdated. Uh, sending a letter is an outdated. Yeah, form but of you still have to. Time you bought a stamp? The other day. Really? Really? Yeah, I had to send my uh, taxes. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's good. I have. I, I can't tend to buy tell books. You. Stamp. That's the way to go. Yeah, for it's sure. The most efficient. It'll last me like twenty years. <laughs> you got to get those like everlasting stamps or whatever they're called. I don't know. I just sound so stupid. There's they don't change in price or something like that. I don't know. I don't get the United I, States Postal Service. Yeah, that's another. That's another rant. Yeah, we the got USPS. We so <laughs> got so off topic. Dude, I ordered a package from FedEx. I'm calling them out because they fucked me. Oh, they always, bro. Yeah aggressive they did not send my package when they said they were going to you gotta count uh wally we're getting oh, back on it and yeah. eve isn't oh, that yeah. what they called her yeah but that's now that's what a throwback the animated movie yeah well you just fucking talked about iron giant yeah okay but, okay okay, okay throwback. Fucking it, it, okay the everybody gets one animated <laughs> it's, it, i don't know if it's animated but there's like it's real life um, but it's fake. <laughs> okay. um, small soldiers. Oh, like you know that's the movie? a good one. Yeah, those aren't robots. Yeah. Are they? aren't they just action figures? Action figures that get. But tended? they have microchips in them. Bro, that's. But they have microchips in them. It's not magic. It's microchips. Okay, I'll allow it. Because like Toy Story, they're not robots. Right. Yeah. Except right. the robot. Right. Yeah, they're like military hardware. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm fighting your fight. You remember that? Yeah, I fought yours. Yeah, <laughs> I do like that movie. Is that Tobey Maguire? No, no, that's it's. Uh, uh, is it Joseph Gordon Levitt? I think the chick's Kirsten Dunst. Is that yeah. how you say your name? Kirsten yeah. Dunst. Yeah. What? Toy so- uh, Small Soldiers. Uh, I, no, Gregory Smith. So oh, what do you remember the uh, good guy's name? Was it Gor- Gorgon or the Gorgons? Gorgons. Yeah. Um, back to the spaceship thing, the dude off Interstellar. Like Tars, Tars, and there's uh, another one. Uh, case. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Those are cool. I don't understand them and how they work, but that's okay. Those are like the more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. I think robots are hard because, like, have you seen the human-sized robots they make? Like, they can't keep balanced. Oh yeah, it's hard because you don't think about how many muscles are keeping you up when you just are standing. But I think there's definitely a chance for artificial intelligence to get. I think that's what's gonna uh, kill off the human race. Yes, I I agree. We're gonna. Yeah, we deserve it. Well, yeah, I agree. But it's like never. People are obsessed with overreaching, overreaching, and designing stuff that. It's gonna make us obsolete. That's what Terminator's about. That's why. That's it's what, sweet. Yeah. 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 Like, don't. It's like, oh, let's Fucking make this giant man. bomb that's gonna blow us up. Have you ever seen the movie by Centennial Man? Yeah. yeah. That's Robin Williams, yep. right? Yep. Aren't you not a fan of Robin Williams? I don't hate him. I don't Son love him. Bitch. Hey. You know. <laughs> when I first watched that movie, I was so confused because I watched it when I was younger. Yeah. But. What's dude from the Avengers? Uh, Ultron. 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 And the... Um, Vision. Vision, right? Yeah, eh, a little bit. He has a metal body, but he actually has a soul, so... What's the Do robot, robots have souls? What's the robot from uh, Get Smart? Isn't that a robot? I don't know. Maybe not. Here's one. Inspector Gadget. Hell, uh, he's not a robot. What is he? Cyborg. Oh, yeah. But that's RoboCop, then. Yeah, I didn't agree with that being a robot. Yeah, you're right. Dang. That's crazy. So, is, is iRobot robots robots? Yeah, they're robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're robots. Now, what's the difference between a robot and an android? Like, this is why I asked. Like, because, you know, they're free thinking. Um, they're more advanced. Like, the Terminator, like, he was sent on a mission, but he carried out that mission the best way he, you know figured um but like a straight robot would be like uh you know just a pacific rim 
There's no free thinking. They're controlled. That's a robot robot. Mm -hmm. The Terminator wasn't really free thinking, though. He learned. Yeah. But to he learn wasn't free means thinking. intelligence. Mm. The robots in Pacific Rim, you know, the fighting robots, they didn't. They're completely controlled. Hmm. Somebody's at the helm of you know the robots, mm -hmm. whereas you know the Terminators they're not being controlled. Yeah, the Terminator was completely controlled by, especially in Terminator Two, by uh, the kid because he makes he makes him stand on one foot and do he does he does all that because he says you have to do what I say because he sent him, so he's under his control. John mm. Connor. And then he says, you can't kill anybody. So he doesn't kill anybody the rest of the movie. Well, Is there a difference that, between... That's a good... Uh, that's T3, right? Not T the bad T2. guy. T2. Or... I mean, it's the, it's the second T1, generation. Thousand. Yeah. But, yeah. But the upgraded version doesn't listen to him. Is there a know. difference between controlling a robot like in Pacific Rim? Okay. Like where you're inside and telling it what to do exactly. Or programming it. Because you're, that's just an external yeah. form of yeah. what you're doing yeah, in Pacific. Well, it, it's a control, like you're, but you're not controlling it per se. Like in the movie I Robots, there are certain things that the robots cannot do. They cannot harm humans. They cannot. Um, but they do. Yep, yeah, they advance far enough to perceive that they're not harming them if they're protecting them from themselves. They grow. They think they're growing artificial intelligence. So. Mm. I, I I don't even know what side of the argument I'm on anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we'll move on. What do you count cars like Christine? Oh, you know what that is? Yeah, Christine Stephen King. Yeah, the car comes alive and that's a spiritual nah, matter. I think. I think yeah. that's I, it's definitely spiritual. Yeah, I think it was more of like the a cause haunting. of the. It's you have to admit the car is alive. It you your car is not fucking alive in your garage right now. No. I hope not. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if it can run on its own, I'm good right now because the gas prices. I mean, um, I don't want to count Christine. So you don't count, um, what, Knight Rider? Kit from Knight Rider? Knight, Knight Rider? That's different. That's not spiritual. Okay, that, well, he's fasting. programmed, gotta, like, computer wise. Iron this stuff out. Yeah. 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 I would say Kit. If it's supernatural causes, you cannot count it, in my opinion. Like Kit, I would count. Yeah. Well, because Smart House. Ooh. S what's Smart House? The Disney Channel movie? Oh, with the... Uh, okay. With the mom and... Yeah. That's, the, that's AI. That's... See, we're splitting hairs. I yeah. know. I would still count it, only because it's in the... Yeah, cool movie. Yeah. You know. Basically, that's... Did they see the future? Because I talk to my Alexis all the time. <laughs> um, I think we're getting close with technology. It is fucking convenient, isn't it? You've seen the robot You see shoots? those uh, videos of the, the automatic you know, like, uh, clothes hampers that you just throw in and it sucks it in? Yeah. Bro, that's so cool. That is cool. I saw the video of the robot shooting half-court shots. Oh, uh, I've seen that. He dribbles to... No, yeah. miss. You ever seen Weird Science when yeah. they create the girl, Lisa? Yeah. yeah. She's a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> now, what about what about the Power Ranger robot? Oh, those are great movies. Um, yeah. The one that they all combine yeah. to make. Well, like, morph it. Even the smaller ones, like those are robots. Yeah. They're being controlled. Yeah. I have one that you guys are going to disagree with, but I have an argument for it. Okay. His name is Bruce. And you know who Bruce is? No. The shark from Jaws. No. I know. I know. That's, I mean, it's, technically, it's a robot. I know. I know. I know. But you know the shark's name, you nerd. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can use that for uh, any movie. Jurassic Park and shit too. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? I saw a meme on Facebook talking about Jurassic Park. And I'm going to rip it off, but, but like, that was made in, what, 1993-ish? Yes. Um, it's still one of the best visual effect movies you can watch. With the new Jurassic Park movie coming out, that pretty much wrap everything up. 
Yeah. You know, in the original Jurassic Park, we hadn't learned that uh, dinosaurs were based off of, like, that most of them had feathers and shit. Mm-hmm. And that's why they uh, they have scales in the movie instead of the right. actual feathers that we learned later. With a, in the new movie that's coming out, they actually addressed that because now we know and stuff. And the way they did it was actually very... The way, the way they're doing it, because they mentioned it in the uh, trailer for the new one coming out. Yeah. It, it, it's a very plausible way of doing it. So I applaud them for doing that. I don't... Covering their mistakes. Yeah, exactly. I don't believe dinosaurs are real. Shut up. <laughs> are you serious no, right now? No, I'm kidding. But there are people out there. Well, people can't see you right now. So <laughs> you say that on the mic and like people think you're serious. So I have that's, to come that's out That's true. Like, that's true i do one one cool fun fact i just learned that a lot of people think t-rex's arms you know how they're short and stubby yes oh when they were discovered the archaeologists put them on backwards so they were actually reversed and they had like a they're like ostrich arms they which makes more sense why would an animal just have stupid arms that can't do anything well that's actually a misconception because those arms are actually very powerful it's just because their jaws have so much of a bite force that it does it's one of the largest bite forces ever record like known that all the muscles in its neck are contributing to the bite force so the arms get taken away but they can still lift up to like think 500 pounds and I like the wing idea because birds are. I agree. Or like dinosaurs are of, from birds. Yeah. Or, you know, I think Did that makes sense. Did you know T Rexes are being split up into three different categories? I saw that. Yeah. Big oh. news in the uh, paleontology department. Yeah. Oh, God, you guys are here. Hey, what would you do without us? Be Don't dumb. Go along thinking T Rexes had short arms yeah. like everybody else. What about the two alien dudes from uh, both Alien and Aliens? I was about to say, yeah, because that you don't know. One's a good one, one's not so good. Until the end, too. That the one. Yeah. The first time I watched Alien, the first one, I watched the first one, I was very confused when he gets, like, cut up, and it's like, is it he yeah. the one with the white liquid? or? Yeah. It's I'm like, what the fuck is he's going on? He's cut in half, and he's still hanging yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. I was confused. How old were you when you watched that? Uh, 27. <laughs> <laughs> um, Commander Data from uh, Star Trek. Data, is it Data? Oh, yeah. Data. Data. Data or Data? I don't know how they, what do you I, I don't know how they say it. I, I think say they say Data. 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 I think they call him... Uh, I say Data. Data? Data. I think they call him Data, Data, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Data. I'm not a real is that even star. a real word? What, Data. 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 Stop. All right. <laughs> uh, you ever watch the movie Robots? And it, oh, never mind. It's animated. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> the T one hundred from Terminator Two, the liquid metal guy. Yeah, that's the one I that's was talking who about. I thought we were talking about. Yeah, that's who I was talking about the whole time. As yeah. more of an well, when you said Terminator, I assume Arnold Schwarzenegger. When you say Terminator Two, I assume the guy who's the cop who runs fast. Yeah. And then Terminator, yeah, Terminator Three is the chick. Two, even in Terminator Two, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, still there, but he's good. And he, but he's, he's a diff- He's different than the first one. Yeah, it's not the same model. In my opinion, he's not the Terminator in the second one. He's what? absolutely a Terminator. Well, I, that's what he's called. He's that's not Terminating. He's a T something. Yeah, he's a T two or T one. T stands for. Yeah. But he's totally being controlled, cool. and at that point, he's a robot. Whereas the uh, liquid metal guy is more of an android. Yeah. What What do you think Thomas the Train is? <laughs> Bro, he's haunted. <laughs> what? He's haunted. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he's being possessed. The whole gang is. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I've never seen the day that Earth stood still. Really? Oh, that's mm-hmm. a good movie. That guy Gort is a robot. Oh yeah. Shaman, if you were a robot, would you tell us? No. Why? It'd be against my program. <laughs> but your programming is to be honest to human. Mm-hmm. Eh, not really. Not if I'm a bad robot. Are you a bad robot? Are you a bad bot? I can't weird. tell you. <laughs> There's got to be more that we're missing, and people are going to be like calling us idiots. But um, Real Steel, 
I don't know what that is. It sounds like a porno. Por- Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, it's Christine levels. What? Isn't it? Isn't that on the same level as Christine? Maximum yeah, but overdrive. it's all different kinds of machines. Yeah. It's not just one. But why are they coming alive, man? I don't man? remember, but... Can we just get back to you don't know what real steel is? Yeah, well, stupid. It sounds like some kind of a rock. Well, it's the uh, watch, but... Rock'em Soccer Robot one. With uh, the guy, Gerald Butler? No, not Gerald Butler. The guy who plays Real Real Isn't... Who's no, like that? Jackman. That's what I meant. Yeah. Same guy. <laughs> yeah, he's like... They're, fu- they're in a ring and they, you know... They're fighting and they're robots and... Come on, it's a good movie. I've never seen it. Sorry. It's a good movie. Good Do you movie. like Ready Player One? Yes. All it's right. a good movie. <laughs> cool. I don't know if so, there's any r- r- robots in there, but... I don't know why I asked you that. Actually, there are, there's robots in there. When they're in the real world. Um, th- uh, th- uh... There's that new Tom Hanks movie, Finch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Is it out, or... I think it's on Apple. He does a lot of shit with Apple. He must have like a uh, contractor something. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but it looks good. Um, he's like one of the last people on Earth because um, everything's being destroyed by storms, and he, he's dying. But he's trying to get the robots. Aren't we all dying? Yeah. But I he, mean, not everybody. Some people are still growing. True. Once you stop growing, you start dying. Mm, I think even as you're growing, you're dying. I well, disagree. You, you're always lose your your cells are always dying, even when you're growing. So yeah, I would say you are always dying. Yeah, but but your replenish rate is higher. So, when but you're at some point, but you're getting stronger. If you're getting stronger, you're doing the opposite of dying. That's not true. That's not true. Just because it's you're coming closer to the end of your timeline well, doesn't mean you're actively dying. I think you, if anything, you are actively dying. You may not be dying, but you're actively dying. This is deep. Man. Any more robots? Okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Passengers? Passengers. Yeah, it's an alien movie. No. Um, it has... Yeah, uh, it is. <laughs> oh, what's her fucking name? Mystique from the new uh, X-Men movies. Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence and... Don't you not like her? Oh, is that where they're on the space thing space and they shift. Wait, how the fuck are they aliens or robots not them the butler guy the drink maker the bartender mm, is he a hologram no he's a robot you see him oh yeah back you're right forth. he doesn't have legs right yeah. yep yeah yeah that's cool shaman's on the sun have you seen that movie damn no i thought it was an alien movie but no, it's not. Um, the the last one I want to talk about. Have you ever seen the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yes. Bro, that movie is so fucking hilarious. You're getting fucking bombed. It's an airplane flying by. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, you can. Jeez. <laughs> I live c- close to a college airport, and uh, I have a little. Plane. That doesn't sound like a fucking plane coming from a college airport. Uh, there's the military base that way, but I, every once in a while I see some low flyers. If this but. is our last broadcast, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a hilarious movie. Um, the the robot in that is what depressed. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> Shame. Let me ask you this hard hitter. What? Let's say you go to a bar. All okay. right. You're cruising, looking for a good time. Come up to this girl, and you're like, "Hey, you guys start hitting off," and she's like, "Listen, before we go any further, I got to tell you something. I'm a robot." Hell yeah. What do you do? <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Why? <laughs> I'm in. That's an easy question. I'm in for a good time. Probably, yeah. Not does does the inside feel real? Jesus oh, Christ. God damn. I was thinking, like, <laughs> they're not going to get emotional on you and, like, you don't go to no, pay for pregnancy, food. pregnancy scares, that, too. You know, so. There's a lot of ups. Yeah. I mean, but. You could electrocute yourself also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does you got to get one of them bathroom buttons that go on the plugs, you know, that if it detects moisture, oh, it pops. Oh, no. Rubber keeps you... <sighs> this is shame you ground you're talking <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Anywho. Just to, just to be clear, we're talking about fucking a robot, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <sweet. laughs> All right. Uh, we're moving on. Moving on. Oh wait. Wait. Premature. Premature moving on. Shameless. Sick of the premature. Shameless. <laughs> Uh, you have to address your old people comment from last week because we got some flack. Okay, I wasn't just talking Shout about... Shout out to Charlie if, if you're listening. I wasn't just talking about old people in general. They just came up because the person who I was talking about happened to be old. Okay. I'm just talking about slow people who <laughs> so don't know how to generalize an entire uh, age of age group of people. That's all. I just need... So are I you, felt like we need to you, address it again. That's all. Are you pro child labor? No. Okay. You thought about it. Though. Okay. No, I okay. had to think like what, I what you meant. I appreciate you making sure. <laughs> I had to make sure what you all meant. Right. Like, now we're really moving. On. <laughs> Am I hitting the right button? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our producer says yeah. He did a drum roll, so we think that means yes. <laughs> Same and what do you watch? Um, I stayed up. I stayed on the uh, Young Justice um, topic, uh, the new season. I started watching that. Oh, so good. Is it better than Teen Titans Go? Yes. I watched it this morning. Teen what? Titans Go. <laughs> hey. And my niece, she was over. I was like, yeah, have you ever seen this? She's a, she's a Marvel fan. All right. All right, back to Young Justice. Yeah, the new season. Oh, so good. Um, hits a lot of the topics um, that DC doesn't cover in their movies. Like what? Just like the backstories to a lot of characters. Um, Who's your favorite B-roll character out of any superhero? Oh, can't say it like Iron Man or some bullshit. B-roll. Yeah, yeah. like somebody who doesn't like get the Robin? justice. <laughs> Basically, yeah. like that's what you're asking. Yeah, not a superhero. Not like no, someone, no, not no, someone no. who has a movie. Not like right. Not yeah. They, they might be in movies. Can they have but a, a TV show? Oh Jesus Christ! Sure, Green Arrow. Uh, he, Green Arrow is not a B-roll. He's in the Justice League, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Man, I can't count it. No. Uh, okay. Uh, but Justice League covers a lot of Dude, I saw this uh, action figure at this flea market I was at yesterday. It was a DC superhero or villain. I don't know what he was, but he looked like a knight from the Crusades. Yes. He's in uh, DC. Yeah. Oh, I just said that, you yeah. fuck. Um, <sighs> oh, I can't. I don't remember his name, but he looked cool as shit. I like, uh, is he riding a, like a horse? Uh, he he looked Pegasus? like he could be. I don't know. He had like a flaming sword. Yeah, I like Solomon Grundy. Is that the alligator guy? No, no he uh, from Batman. Yeah, um, born on a Monday. Yeah, died on a Tuesday. Resurrected on it's a, Wednesday. It's a dude. What? It's a different dude who turns into Solomon Grundy. But I don't remember who it is that turns into Solomon. What the Grundy. fuck were you just saying right there? That's a, the. Yeah, that's nursery rhyme of Solomon Gundy. Oh, but I, but that's what I'm thinking. You're thinking of like B, like he's uh he, he's a villain. He's not. A, well, I'll count. Yeah, villains that's true. Too. Okay, okay. Um, but, but he's like kind of a guys. villain. He's a villain, but he's not. You feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. Watch Gotham. You see how he turns in that. Like, he's actually classified as an anti-hero. So Solomon yeah. Grundy. Yeah, um, but what's his real name? Like. Because Solomon Grundy is who he turns into. Um, what is he? A human? Does he look like a human? He's a, he, he, he no, turns into like he's a giant huge. monster. Yeah. He was yeah. a human that got murdered by the mafia, then thrown into like a swamp, and the swamp was uh, had mystical energies go- going around it, so it resurrected him into this monster, almost kind of brain-dead monster. He does think, but he just says, you know, Grundy, shit like that. Oh. Uh, um, yeah. Cool. Based off the uh, 19th century nursery rhyme. Mm. Um, That's the 1800s, Corey, in case you didn't know. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did you watch? Uh, I watched... Me? The- yeah, you. Oh, I watched The Sixth Sense. Mm. And that shit is good. It was Brucey e. Will? Yeah, but the kid. The kid is... Cyrus Gold. Yeah, that's, I was just about to say that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, dude, the kid is awesome in that movie. Whatever, whatever his name is, I don't, I don't remember. Could you imagine being dead and still going to work? Yeah, that's, I'd be uh, pissed. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, this motherfucker had me going to work when I was dead. Yeah, but he had to go to work to get to move on. True. That's how he found the kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Um, kind of. I'm torn. Yeah. Yeah. Part of me just thinks it's lights out. Part of me thinks, yeah, maybe. Mm. We are gonna have a ghost episode soon. We know somebody who is a ghost hunter. They go on yeah. ghost hunts. Same They're thing. actually going know. on one, I think, this weekend. No way. I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, we'll get a hold of her and see if we. Can That'll be great, because then we could talk. But I don't know if I want to tag along. <laughs> she can tell us all about it. <laughs> That's how you get possessed, buddy. But, uh, yeah, I think we should do that, because there's a lot of good ghost movies out there. Yeah, I agree. Guess what else I watched? What else did you fucking watch? Our Flag Means Death, because I'm a good friend, and I take recommendations from my I friends. I appreciate that. I even got my wife watching it. We're like four episodes in. Did you? It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's different. It's, it's quirky. Yeah, it's a little... It kind of got sad. I haven't watched the fourth episode yet, but the third episode, I'm through. Um, but uh, yeah, it's different. You were a fan? I'm you not, don't not hate a it. fan. I'm intrigued. Let me ask you. I don't know their names, but like, who's your favorite character, you think? I like the first mate. Um, so you, I, um, okay. I don't want to spoil anything for you. Ooh. Just in fourth, the fourth episode? I don't know if it's the third or fourth, but, like, have you been introduced to a new rival pirate yet? Blackbeard. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It. Okay. I yeah. thought he'd be your favorite. He's pretty cool. Um, you're talking of the, the regular guys. Um, I don't know. I the like, first mate who's always, like, yelling and looking up. Yeah, he's, uh, he's funny. Yeah, but he's not my favorite. The black guy who plays the guitar, the banjo yeah. or whatever, he's funny. Yeah. And, um... I don't know. I think I'll like the girl, but we haven't really got to see her. Because, mm-hmm. like, of course. Mm-hmm. What's her name? I don't know. Well, it's... It's a guy. It's Jim. Yeah. It's a Mulan shit. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, check it out, though. It's, it's a di- pretty It's good. a different kind of show, yeah. And I'm, I'm a good friend. It's, it's short episodes. It, it, what'd you watch pretty it on? Light. HBO. HBO. It's an HBO show. Mm-hmm. Um, What I watched is something that I am mad at myself for putting off for so too for too long ted lasso uh, apple good tv i don't have apple tv it's my problem it's phenomenal it has won so many awards and i will say well rightfully deserved. so yeah it i've is, seen a couple episodes it is fantastic uh jason uh sudeikis yeah I'm top fan. notch top and he's like this like overly um nice coach that just gets dropped in to coach the soccer team and they're facing relegation um and it's just it's so good the background characters are great yeah i've heard yeah, doesn't things. he I've seen clips. just apply for the coaching job he doesn't on a even win? apply oh. he well maybe that comes out later than what i've seen i'm almost towards the end of the first season but this the chick her husband owns the soccer team they get a divorce because he was cheating on her she gets the team from him through the divorce and she wants to it's almost like a major league situation yeah where she wants to ruin the team team. she will not even move the team she just wants the team to fail to get because that's the only thing he's ever loved so she just wants to screw him over one last time so she just hires this guy who won like the second or division two college football championship in america hires him to coach soccer which he's never done before just to fail because obviously in theory that would fail but then but it's ted lasso it's ted lasso um there's other hbo or not hbo apple tv stuff i want to watch like um there's one with adam scott a show with adam scott where he gets something about him like getting his memory voluntarily getting his memory erased but then they like do uh, something mm-hmm. but it looks crazy there's one it's called for all mankind so that's like based I think it jumps in times, but it starts out in the 60s during the space race. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those. I, I should have talked about it in our alternate history episode, but the Russians land on the moon first instead of the Americans. And it has like huge consequences yeah. politically and through NASA and stuff. And so it, it, it's really good. Um, and it's it looks like. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to do period pieces because you have to get it to look right. 
like just with the sets and stuff it's cool looking show and they had the movie greyhound with tom hanks where he was a, a destroyer captain yeah i'm fighting off some german u-boats apple's coming out with some good hits yeah yeah i mean they got plenty of money yeah I want to circle back to your question for me about my B-list superhero. Okay. okay. Never, you said Green Arrow didn't count. Yeah. Um, Ghost Rider. Mm-hmm. It's two, like two movies. Yeah, but he's not part of the uh, Justice League or... That's kind of a cop-out. Mm. I came up with Solomon Grundy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> you guys keep putting restrictions on. I know, I know. Okay, what's it's the fine. criteria? What's the criteria? Just, it's fine. That's fine. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'll accept Ghost Rider because he's not in a group. Okay. But he does have two movies. I was gonna say like, uh, well, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, so, I don't know. So, <laughs> so it, it cannot have a movie. Sure. I mean, yeah, we're talking like B. They're not gonna make a B-list character a movie. Um, okay, but they can be a part of like, say, you know, the Justice League. Sure. Doctor Fate. That. Okay. That's solid. I have no idea who it is, and I know that that's a good pick. That's why it's a good pick. Exactly. If you don't know who it exactly. is. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Damn. I wouldn't classify him as B-list myself, but. Okay. Because he's one of the most OP superheroes, but yeah. Okay. All right. On to well, the next. Let me let me do. A qu- I said on to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Let me do a quick little grind my gears, okay, and this yeah. time I want to attack um, an age group. Jeez. I'm just kidding. We 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 appeased and we we processed and we have learned. And anyways, what I hate and it sounds stupid and it's very trivial and it's really specific, but it's on Facebook. Okay, it's when let's say you're friends with a couple. Okay. And some one of them posts a status about something stupid, and then their significant other has a conversation with them on the status. Yeah, I don't like that. What? what? I don't like that. It's stupid. And so I know it's a it's status stupid. about the the, cu- the maybe not like significant hey, other going to get mulch this weekend for a flower bed. That's the guy, and then the girlfriend answers like. Dude, our house go, looks so good. I can't wait until we get it at 4 o'clock today. And he's like, yeah, I know, babe. I'm excited, too. You don't need that conversation. I don't like it. And I know it's stupid. And I'll keep saying that. But it makes it. me angry. Like, I mean, I understand. Have a conversation it. in text. You, yeah. Yeah. Especially, and I don't know the cir- circumstances at home. If you're fucking sitting right next to the person and you're doing that shit, fuck yourself. I hate it. Right. I'm not going to argue with I'm you. I'm passionate ahead, about yeah. it. Just go ahead. You know? I feel like... Yeah. I'm just going to try and let people get their rant out without debating. I've been holding much. it in. It's fun. I can tell. Man. You got anything, Sam? No. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. I, think. I feel better now. Right. It's fun. All right. On to the next. We're talking... Bye. Countdown. Countdown. I have no idea what number. 16... Four. Yeah, I was gonna say sixty. No, nah, maybe. I don't know. The Joker, big old movie, came out a few years ago. Yeah, the Joker. Yeah, we haven't done a countdown in a long time. I think what we should do one episode is do a whole countdown catch up. Of, catch up. So count, the countdown. Catch that might up. be in the near future. It might be in the near future. We've been procrastinating. Okay, so what's your take on the Joker? I love it, but I'm not huge in the superhero movies. Okay, so. I looked at the Joker more as like a psychological coming of age ish yeah. in a negative way type movie as opposed to the Joker who's fighting Christian Bale and yeah. the Dark Knight. I am a you know a superhero you are? person. Um, what? A standalone movie, great movie. I agree with you. It was a great movie. He did a very good job. But a part of the DC world, it it it, it missed a lot of points for me. Um, like. In the Joker, he has him being so much older than Bruce Wayne, and at the ending, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna spoil it. Kind of the s- cause of the Waynes to get killed, um, because he incites the riots, and that's how the uh, parents get gunned down because there's a riot going on and stuff like that. Um, that kind of did not sit well with me. Why? Because that's not how they died. It was just a mugging orchestrated by one of the mob bosses um 
according to the one comic. Yeah, th- that's what you gotta like sit with because m- there's many different comics and a lot of them give their own spread on a uh, take on the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one, it just it, it completely out there where they're saying you know just uh, the Joker is so much older than Batman, but if you, if it continues on that same timeline when the Batman comes around, the Joker is going to be like 60. That's, that's valid. Yeah. yeah. Standalone movie. It was a great movie. He nailed it. He nailed the part of, you know, being psychotic. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing is he it illustrated that the Joker was crazy. And I don't think the Joker was crazy in a sense where, like, in the movie The Joker, he was thinking stuff were, was there when it wasn't in along the lines of the comic book Joker that wasn't really true he was psychotic but he wasn't crazy crazy like he didn't start seeing he things he was insane yeah in a sense where he he wasn't seeing things that, that weren't there stuff like that he mm-hmm. was still in control of himself he just didn't give a shit because he You're was right. psychotic I could see that but he it was still a good movie standalone movie um that was the only issue. I like I had. how gritty it was, mm-hmm. but there's a fine line because a lot of DC movies are too gritty for me. Yeah, I'm, I don't love the I'm whatever how, filter they use. I don't like it. Mm, yeah, they, they use a, like a dark, dark filter. I don't like it. That's yeah. how Gotham is, and, and I understand the purpose of it. Mm. It it adds effect to it, but I don't love it. See, I think they overdo it. I do agree that that's the same, the right kind of filters they should be using, but they overdo it mm-hmm. too much. It just takes away from the movie. That's why I think Marvel, do they don't use a filterish no. kind of thing. Do they, they they use it correctly, like in a certain scene, they yeah. will use a filter. They but, have. Would you say they definitely have more comedic elements in their movies than DC movies? Yeah, that's what I like, and yeah. I think that's why they're drastically more popular. Yeah, even though the new Batman, have you seen the new Batman yet? No. What? Yeah. Haven't decided to go. Have you? DC no. hater. No, we just... should all go together. Okay, I'm down. But can every we, time I go, just share most one of the... popcorn? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> go to it. No. Ew. I'll in hold fact, the bucket. In fact, we are all required to put one seat in between. Us. <laughs> Even if there's a stranger. <laughs> Even if it's me and just Alex, bro. We always do one How seat. How mad would you be if you, got re- you came to the movies like by yourself? And you re- got one seat. You saw one seat was open. And you went, and it was between you and Alex. You. I'd be mad for that person. I'd be like, I can't believe they let you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like on a plane. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> now we got to get the. You got to get like the very back row at the movies. Like the new. Some of the new movie theaters have these like reclining. Yeah, the one love seats. The one oh love seats. Yeah, bro, bro. what I saw is you reserve. An entire row for yourself, right? Okay. But then you cancel it before it. So, in theory, you should have an entire row to yourself with only paying one seat. Can you reserve without paying? If you do it far enough in advance. Uh I feel like there's something something would go wrong. Like, certain. Not end up paying for 10 tickets. Here's one thing I don't care for etiquette, like movie, movie theater etiquette. People put their foot up on feet up on the back of the seats. That's fine. Okay. How many? This happened to some people in front of us when we went and saw the new Jackass movie. These people are sitting, and then there is an empty chair to the person's right. And that person behind them put their feet on that chair. That's too close, right? Yeah. Like at least one chair's yeah, distance, yeah, yeah. right? Absolutely. They said fuck it, and there I would be pissed. No, I would have said so. Like you, I would have bumped yeah, your, six, still on your feet. feet are six inches from my head. Like yeah. I don't need. I would have bumped them. Like I would have. I'd have gone arm. and put my arm up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, something. Well, something so I hit people, their arm and they'd be like, "Oh my bad." The same people who had their feet up. There were two people to the left of that person also, and they had their feet up. And when these people came in, and they sat down, the people like <sighs> that they had to put their feet down. And it's like no, it doesn't fucking work like that. I'd have been like, "Motherfucker, you fucking put your feet on my seat and, one more time." And it's one thing if the theater was like super open. It wasn't. It was pretty full, yeah, if, so if they it, didn't have options. Yeah, if it's a relatively new movie, like if it's been out for three weeks, and like you said, it's 
pretty empty. But then even at that fact, if you're sitting there and people th- just move, scoot down four seats. Yeah. Like, that's what we did. I don't want to be fucking smelling feet for the entire fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to spread out like that, you should move. Yeah. Not the people in front of you or whatever. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a tall dude, and sometimes the movie theaters do not have enough leg room. So I do put my feet up. But if somebody's sitting there, I won't do that. I'll just sit there. Would you give them $5 to rub your feet? Yeah. A good foot rub? Oh. From a stranger in the movie theater? <laughs> That's weird. From a female, not a guy. Why? Guys, different. Can, they're like stronger. They can get in there. It's still different. He's a little. Poopy. You know. <laughs> no, difference? I will not get a massage or anything from a guy. It's just to me, it's weird. Yeah. Feels good. It feels Cancel good. Thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> Personal preference. I don't have anything else to add to the Joker because Shaman. It's a good movie. Don't go into it. And I think the problem when it first came out was a lot of people sent. <laughs> took their like eight-year-old kids to go yeah. watch a superhero yeah, and movie i, I like and how like, no, i like movie. how certain no. movies are going to, towards yeah. the r-rated it's thing. making it more realistic it's an origin in my story. opinion yeah, it's, like, not a, yeah. it's not a superhero like the, i want to the new moon uh moon night mm-hmm. coming out oh that's that's one of the the darkest superheroes he just straight up kills people like just slices their throats and shit oh I am so glad they're doing it in Radar because if they tried to do anything else, it would not fit. So, huh. I'm not allowed to watch Radar. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know what you. Oh, we got to rate it. Rate the Joker. Seven point oh. Eight out of ten. Standalone. Seven eight. Seven eight. All right. DC. Seven two. Jeez. Top notch, baby. Well, I think you gotta take it all things considered, so you're really giving like a seven six. Yeah, seven five. Seven five. All right. Well, let's know what robots we missed. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure they're out there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, let us know. Direct your hate at Shaman as usual. Yeah. In the comments. And uh, until next time. Stay safe.